good day viewers i hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from so um i want us to answer question b and this question b is um, a question that is um coming from menstruation okay to those who have been following my videos uh i did post a video on how we can find the volume of the corn so that work just the continuation okay so i'm going to answer this question that came in, in 2021 mathematics paper 2 for internal candidates so the question we are going to answer is question b i hope you can see it right here okay this is the question that we are going to answer all right so uh this is the question we're answering question b right here the question reads the diagram below shows a cone so this is a cone okay the shaded part is the thickness of the cone so this shaded part is the thickness of the cone the internal volume is 34650 cubed centimeter the internal base area is 3850 square centimeter take pi to be 3.142 so before we even start answering, we must take note of certain things. They have given you the internal volume and they have given you the internal base what area. So when we talk of internal base area, we are considering this uh, circle right here. Okay, this is the internal base what area. So I do hope that you have understood. Then from this point, we can also uh, try to understand what volume is. Okay, volume is the space occupied by an object okay so here we have roman numeral one calculate the internal height and radius so you can see we've got the internal height here h then we've got the radius right there and this question is covering four marks okay roman numeral two they want you to find the external volume of the cone okay so let's see how best we can answer this question so uh this is the cone okay so i've just uh redrawn it so that you just take a look at it now if you have read the question uh nicely they have said this uh cone this cone has got uh the internal volume okay so the internal volume they have given you the value which is 34000 six hundred and fifty square uh, cubed centimeter then they have also said the same uh cone has got the internal at base area okay the internal base area so this internal base area is what three thousand eight hundred and fifty square centimeter so roman numero one okay roman numero one they want you to calculate okay this is the question calculate the radius sorry calculate the internal height and the radius so how can you find the internal height which is right here and the, the radius so what you are going to do is you are going to write the formula for finding the volume okay which is you say uh, volume equal to 1 over 3 by r squared h this is the uh, the formula for finding the volume of the what of the cone okay so what you are going to do here is where you have volume here you are going to equate with the, the value have been given for volume of the internal uh, cone okay so here this is the volume okay so where there is v we are going to write something like this you write the volume 34650 okay equal to then 1 over 3 times now pi r squared we understand that this is the base area okay this is the base area pi r squared this is the base what area and remember i said the base area when you look at this one this is the base area and the um the area the internal base area they have given you which is this value right here okay so where, where there is this by r squared you are going to post three thousand 
800 and what? 50. Okay? Times. Now, here on the formula where there is H, you just put H. You don't have the value for H. So I do hope that you are, you are following me. Okay? I do hope that you are following. So from here, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay? So you can see that here you have got a 1 times 3. 1850 times h you can multiply these okay when you multiply them you are going to have um, a fraction okay you are going to have a fraction so you are going to rewrite this this will be 34650 equal to here 1 times 3850 times h we are going to have 3850 h over Three. Okay, so I do hope that you are following. You have seen what we have. So our main interest is finding the value of h. Okay, and now this is a fraction. This side is not a fraction. So we divide by 1. Then we close, multiply. So at when you multiply 1 times 3850h, we are going to get the same value. Okay, we are going to get the same value. So um, I'll write it this side. So this is the value that you are going to get, which is 3850H, okay, equal to. Now here, here, this 3 will be multiplied with 34650, okay. So what value are we going to get? Allow me to punch on the calculator, okay. Allow me to punch. So on my calculator... 34,650 times 3. Okay. This is what I've punched. 34,650 times 3. So it's giving us uh, this value. So I'll write the value right here. 103,950. Okay. 103,950. That is the value it has given me. So I hope that you are also calculating so that we do not uh, get different values. Or if I've gotten a different value, I may, I, I may make a mistake as I'm calculating. So from here, we are going to divide by this value, which is 3,850. Even this side, 3,850. Because we want to remain with H. So we are going to cancel this. Our H is equal to... So from here, I can cancel this 0 and this 0, okay? Then, this remaining figure on top, I divide it with uh, that. Or I'll come to my calculator here. I'll just say divided by 3,850. So for me, I didn't, I am, um, I've divided with it, including the zeros, okay? So the value there is going to be, 27 meaning the value of h is 27 okay the value of h is 27 so here if you cancel the zeros it means you just divide this 10395 divided by 385 you get the same value 27 or you include the zeros you get the same value 27 okay so we have answered the value of h remember the question they want you to find the value of h and the value of what Arrow, which is, excuse me, which is the radius there. So, let's see how we can answer now the radius. All right. Now, how can we find uh, the radius? Okay. According to the question right here, how can we find the radius? So, here, uh, you have been given the internal volume and the internal at base area. So, if you want to find the value of the radius, you can either use the internal volume which is the volume of the cone to find the, the radius there. Or you can use the internal base area. Okay. The internal base area, we are talking about the we are talking about the area of the what? Of the circle. So uh, whatever of the two that you use, you are going to get the same what answer. So here they said the base area. They said the base area 
its value is 3850 square centimeter there okay so i will say base area we say base area equal to we understand that when you talk about base area we are talking about this shape right here which is a circle okay so the base area we are talking about the area of the what of the circle of which we all know that the area of the circle is given by this formula by r squared okay so where there is base area you put the base area i've been given which is 3850 equal to this pi okay they did say take pi to be 3.142 times r squared which is the radius there the one that we want so i'm going to divide this by 3.142 even this side divide by 3.142 so this and that will cancel the r squared okay will be equal to so here it's just a matter of what dividing it's just a matter of dividing you get your calculator okay then you say 3850 divided by 3.142 okay what value are we getting 3850 divided by 3.142 okay we are getting something like this so I'll, I'll, I'll write my value that i've gotten here uh, if you have gotten a different one please feel free to to inbox feel free to comment sorry so that i check my working okay for me this is the value that i've gotten okay 1225 so i want to find the value of r meaning we are going to divide sorry we are going to introduce a square root because this r is squared so even this side we introduce a square root so these two and the square root to cancel r equal to so what is the square root of that for me i already have this figure so i'll just press on square root there okay so it has given me something like this um, 5.0047737 so my final answer there therefore my radius therefore radius is equal to just say 35 centimeter you leave your answer to the nearest what or number so this is how we can find the value of r and the value of what h so meaning we have answered our question roman numeral one there so we are remaining with the question two which is roman numeral two okay so uh, make sure you are following make sure you are following where you feel that you are not clear you are free to to comment and i'll be able to get back to you so let's see how we can answer the roman numeral two question the one that is remaining it's just carrying two marks Alright, so uh, we are now on uh, this question, okay? Given that the cone is 0 0.7 centimeter thick, okay? This cone is 0 0.7 centimeter thick, okay? Calculate the external volume of the cone. So here, if you want to calculate the external volume of the cone, this is what you are going to do, okay? This is what you are going to do. You are going to write the formula, for volume of the cone which is volume equal to 1 over 3 uh, pi r squared uh, pi r squared h so i've changed the the way the letters will look so i've written capital letter r and capital letter what h because we are calculating the volume of the external at cone so the volume of the external cone um we will be bigger than the volume of the internal cone okay because they have told you that this cone is 0 0.7 centimeter thick meaning the radius will be different and the height will be different so how do you get the radius now 
this your radius okay remember we are just from finding the value of um, the radius okay and you have said the value of the radius is 35 so this 35 add it with what they said this coin cone this cone is 0 0.7 centimeter thick so this radius add it one time okay with 0 0.7 okay so when you add this what are we going to get the radius uh, we, are going, we are getting something like uh, 35.7 centimeter this is our radius now okay you can see it has changed now what about our height do you remember the height that we found the height we said the value was what 27 now when it comes to the height okay this height uh, we are going to add it also with 0 0.7 okay again plus 0 0.7 so i do hope that you are you are following me so from here what is the answer there so you can see for for radius we just added once now for height you add two times okay for height you add two times so 27 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 you are getting something like this 28.4 centimeter now from there you can now proceed okay let's go back to our formula that we wrote so volume equal to 1 over 3 times okay where there is pi to put 3.142 times radius squared r squared is 35 at 5.7 squared times height what is our height 28.4 so 28.4 so i do hope that you are following so here volume equal to so uh, we can multiply or we can punch all these on the calculator okay where i'll say 3.142 times 35.7 squared times 28.4. Okay, I will just write the value that it has given me. This is the value that I've gotten. 0.3113. So this value that I've gotten, remember, there is a 3 here. So it has to be divided by what? A three okay so three into this uh, figure so I'll just go back on my calculator I'll just go back on my calculator there and divide with a three okay so volume volume equal to I'll write the value that I've gotten so the value that I've gotten is thirty seven thousand nine hundred zero eight point seven seven zero four two so volume equal to so here i'll just um write this to the nearest one number okay here i'll say that seven sorry that seven thousand nine hundred and zero nine so this a to be rounded off by seven then cubed centimeter because this is what the volume so this is the answer okay so you have gotten your four marks there and your two marks there this is how you can answer this question thank you so much everyone for viewing this content don't forget to subscribe if you're watching us on facebook don't forget to follow our page and invite your friends so that they can learn with us bye bye